This is part two of our stoichiometry series, and we're going to talk about mole to mass conversions. So for these types of problems, we are being given a certain amount of a, of, of a substance, and it's going to be given to us in the unit of moles, and we're being asked to convert one step further. Instead of going from mole to mole, we're going to go mole to mass. So here's a sample problem. We're going to use that same equation we used from the last problem. It says, how many grams of water form from the combustion of 2.5 moles of propane. So again, we have propane, C3H8, plus 5 moles of water, yields 3 moles of carbon dioxide, and 4 moles of water. This time here, we're looking at the relationship that exists between propane and water. We know that we're examining this relationship because we are starting with 2.5 moles of propane, and we're ending with grams of water. Well, before we can go to grams of water, we have to go to moles of water. So this problem right here is a two-step problem. And we're going to start this problem out in the same way that we started out our other problem. We're going to start out with 2.5 moles of our given substance, C3H8. Now, in order to get to grams of water, we first have to go to moles of water. So we have to get rid of the moles of what we have here by putting moles of C3H8 on bottom and moles of water on the top. Now again, the numbers that go with this fraction, with this conversion factor, are generated from our balanced chemical equation. And in the balanced chemical equation, we have that water is a 4 and propane is a 1. Now if we were to stop this problem right now, our units would cancel and we would have the uh, unit of moles of water. However, we're not being asked to find moles of water, we're being asked to find grams of water. So to go from moles of one substance to grams of that same substance, we're going to call, in, call to mind exactly what we were working on in our previous unit. So to get from moles to grams, we're going to multiply by molar mass. Well, multiplying by molar mass would mean the numbers on top, 18 grams of H2O per one mole of H2O. Again, the units cancel. And now we're simply left with the remaining unit, grams of water. So since we now have the unit that we're looking for, we can go ahead and do our multiplication. 2.5 times 4 times 18 gives us 180 grams of H2O. What this means is that when you burn 2.5 moles of propane in sufficient oxygen, 180 grams of water vapor will be formed in the process. This is an example of a mole-to-mass conversion. This is an example of stoichiometry.